Hi everyone, it is a scorching day today. I'm trying to sit, stand in the shade here. <laughs> and uh, I think it's supposed to be about a 101, 102 today. And it sure feels like it. It feels more like 105 or 106. But I'm out here and just curiosity just overwhelmed me here. So in a couple of previous videos, I worked on one mower and I got it running, but it had a huge loud knock to it, right? So I hung on it for, for a while and, you know, I decided, you know, I, I, I can't sell it like that and I'm not going to use it. I don't need it. And I ran across a, a, another mower and I showed that in a previous video also where I did an engine swap. I had a mower with, you know, uh, you know, cable problems, you know, this and all, all the little stuff that would add up, right? Well, I went ahead and yanked the engine and I did the engine swap and it turned out pretty good. But now I have the old engine out and I was always curious well, what was the knocking? Where was the knocking coming from? And I have my predictions. Um, and that's what I'm going to do right now. It should be a really quick video. I'll just stand here in the sun and, uh, and, and take this apart real quick and we'll be able to tell really quick. But uh, here it is right here. And... Let's see. Let me spin it around so we can see it. And my prediction is I think there's a lot of play between the connecting rod and the, the crankshaft. So it could either be uh, I've seen one of the screws back. On a connecting rod, and but I've also seen it where it just there was just a lot of play, you know, it just started wearing out. And uh, let's see if I can get this separated here. starting to come out that side there it goes all right just had to hammer the crap out of it There's the camshaft, there's the governor, a lot of sludge in there. Oh, this one had the metal gear. Uh, it's interesting that uh, on some of these, especially on the 6.75s, uh, this timing gear was made out of plastic and it had a little... Uh, this little notch that lined up with this slot right here and on the plastic ones I think I, I probably have one down here yeah yeah look at that one so so there we have the plastic and you can see where that little tab just wore right off of it so it was just spinning and the replacement, when you look it up, the replacement is a metal gear. So it's either, it's either this is a later model or this had been worked on. But anyway, let's see. 
let's get all this out of the way. Camshaft actually actually looks pretty good. Okay, so the screws are there, but there is definitely play back and forth on the connecting rod. And you get that spark plug off and release the compression. Alright. Get that spark plug out of there. And it should turn freely. Yep, ever so slightly, but you can see there's a little play, if I can hold this, there I can feel the slack. So that was the problem, it's just the, uh, that inner part of the tie rod. is just wearing out. Okay, well that suits my curiosity. All right, I'm back in the shade again. Well that, uh, I was just so curious. I just wanted to see what uh, what was going on with that and uh, and what I was picturing was was correct. It was uh, just a lot of play between the connecting rod and the uh, crankshaft. But yeah, I got a few little parts out of there. The camshaft's good. This little metal timing gear right there. That's good. I think I'll take the magneto off of there and save it. But um, yeah, I don't know. I guess I'll just go ahead and finish taking the whole thing apart. Maybe I'll save the piston. Uh, but the connecting rod's no doubt gone. But that's it. So that was just a real quick, short video. I was just curious to see where the knocking was coming from. So that's it. But, uh, well, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and watch for my next little project.